Hello. This is my fifth demo in the use of Animator, and I've left this one to last because it's probably the most complicated, but it's been most interesting. And what I actually want to talk about is I actually want to talk about figure and sequence and bones. So I've been using Animator for about a week, and this is what I've learned, and this is what I want to show you. If you already know Animator, then you may just want to skip this video. So first of all, I'm going to create an object. So I should just create a cylinder. Right in there. Let's create another object. Create a cylinder there. <coughs> I'm going to go to mode. I'm going to create a figure. And this icon here, if you don't forget, if you look down here, you get the information of what you're doing. So I'm going to create a new bone. Another new bone, and that, and move it out of the way. Now I'm going to select this bone here. In fact, I'll actually select the root and see what happens. That's interesting. And I'm going to go, and I'm going to add the object root bone to my bone objects. Okay. So let's select this one here. Build, add the object, and move it just over there. I'm going to go back and select bone one, and I'm going to move it by selecting this icon here, and just rotate the bone. And you can see it rotates the object. Great. Lovely. Now let's select bone two. And let's rotate that. Oh, well, it doesn't rotate this part of the object, which is what I was hoping it, do, it would do. So I investigated this and looked further into it, and I found a way of actually how to do this. So I'm just going to start again. I'm going to go to Animator. This may be something you've encountered as you've been playing with it. I'm going to build the object, like that. But this time, when I go to object, I'm going to create a new object, which is going to be that one. I shall also, for now, just for now, I'll just create a new, I'll just do a little circle. Okay. So we go back into figure mode, we build the bones, and I'll build a new bone, and I will need to rotate it. Now, when I grab this bone here, I'll select bone 1, I'm going to build, I'm going to add the object, which is object 1. Great. Now, something worth noticing is when I rotate this, when I rotate it, you'll see that this object doesn't have to be on the bones to move. So basically when we set up this skeleton of bones here, we can set them up anywhere. Alright. So let's let's select this bone here. And we shall build and we'll add object. And this time we'll add object two. And choose up here. Let's try and bring that down. Rotate that. There's a right click there. And I'll move it. Move it up to there. So I'm now going to select bone 2. And this time, this time, when I move the bone by selecting the rotate bone icon, this time, thankfully, it now moves that. I want to set this up. <laughs> the, the difficult thing is you've got to remember to click on these icons at the left. What I tend to do is click on it and try to move it instantly and you can't do that. So let's do the move and this time I can drag it over there. Let's select bone one. 
And if I click on this icon on the left, I move it. Yeah. And if I select bow two, and I've got that icon selected for the rotate, and I move it. So now I can move the bones separately. But remember, these objects here do not have to sit on the bones. If I select bone one, for example, and I build and I add object, and this time I add object three, when I rotate the bone, I select bone, oops, I select bone one, you'll notice that both the object here and this object also move. So I can also build and add object one again if I want to. And if I select the bone, I may rotate it, or it starts rotating. So that's given you a little bit of information about the bones and how to put the objects onto the bones. So the next tutorial, I'll show you how to actually move them with sequence. Thanks for watching.